Oh, hot flush. Ooh. Okay, I'm so excited. So as soon as I saw that Natasha Denona was coming out with her new palette, I ordered it right away. If you don't know already, I'm a huge fan of Natasha Denona. I have a lot of her palettes. I don't have all of them. Um, I am in Canada, so they're more expensive for me, but sometimes they're just worth it. And I love the minis that she comes out with. Well, that's not a mini. It's a, um, it's not her full size. So I'll show you the difference. So this is one right here, which is gigantic. And then she has her new one that came out, which is a lot smaller and more reasonable, I think, because we really don't go through eyeshadows that much. Like, I will never, ever go through all of these eyeshadows. They're nice to have, but they'll go bad before I use them up. And then she has another size like this. And then there's smaller ones than that. So I really appreciate that this is a, let me open this up for you. I really appreciate that this is not one of the larger ones because it brings the cost down for me and makes it more doable. Look at the packaging on this. This is so pretty. This is called the Natasha Dream Palette and it is just gorgeous. I'm so excited to use this. So I will be using that today. I also got her lipstick and her lip gloss. Having a very bad hair day today. I didn't bother washing my hair because I had surgery on Thursday. Today is now Monday. I showered yesterday, but I kind of feel sick when I'm standing for that long. So I just decided it's gonna go up today and yeah, doesn't look bad, does it? This bruise is from, I think, two weeks ago. The bruise was so bad and I looked it up and it was from them uh, poking my vein and then poking through the other side. So holy cow, that hurt. But for whatever reason, I cannot get the sticky stuff off from the tape. So we're gonna have to deal with my messy arm. I already used this in a video, but I'm gonna use it again today because it's new and I think it matches my skin pretty well right now. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation and I will boost it up with some bronzer. So I think this is a little bit light, but it was weird because when I went up a shade in the neutrals, it was weird, it was too dark. So I, I think maybe I have to try something else. I'm willing to bet you guys can hear my fan going too, but it is hot in this room and I just have to have it on. So I'm hoping it doesn't bother you too much. It looks really yellow when I put it on my skin, eh? And that's a lot. I should have learned my lesson from the last time. You don't need a lot of this foundation. A little bit goes a long way. I have a couple products from Makeup by Mario. I'm excited to try it on my skin today because when I used it before, I was self-tanned and now I'm more of my fair color. And I'm excited to see what it looks like. I think it's gonna look really pretty and it's gonna show up more. So I got it in the, um, I should tell you what I'm talking about first. So so I got the Soft Sculpt, I can never say that word, Transforming Skin Enhancer, and I got it in light medium, which will be perfect for this skin tone, I think. When I have a self tan on, I actually think I should have gone the medium, but it looked really pretty. This is so pretty, so if you're having a hard time with bronzing your face or sculpting your face, it's very user-friendly. It's sheer, it's the best way I can describe it. It's a sheer contour color or sculpting color. Because it's sheer, it makes it really hard to be heavy-handed. So on my fair skin, we're gonna show this again. Yeah, it is perfect. Somebody asked me what brush I was using the other day, and this is a uh, Sephora angled blush brush, and this is number 40. You can use whatever brush you want. I do like an angled brush for contouring, but you don't have to, whatever you're comfortable with. I hope you can see that that's bringing some color back into my face that's naturally in my chest anyways. And that foundation was a little bit light considering the rest of my body. It actually matches my face well, but not my chest and my arms. So when I put the sculpting enhancer on, it is balancing everything out for me and bringing shape. Also putting some on my jaw to sharpen it up. I'm so excited. I got invited to go on a brand trip. I ordered some summer clothes from Abercrombie. I can never say the word. I have a hard time speaking. Just go with it. Just, you know, you know what I mean. Um, so I ordered a bunch of clothes from there. I'm gonna do a try on. As soon as my stomach feels a little bit better, I'm just inflamed from my surgery. Um, I will try those on for you. And they were on sale. I wanna get that up soon though, because they were on sale. It's a great price and 
perfect for next summer, even if you're not going on a trip this year. So I will try to get that up for you soon. But I found some new sandals on sale. Everything is on sale. It's a perfect time to get your clothes ready for a vacation. I'm gonna use my Derma Blend Cover Care Concealer and just dot it right in there and a little bit right there. I really wanna try Sigma's Color Corrector and Concealer, but every time I go to get my color, it's sold out. So I've got an eye out for that because I think that's gonna look really pretty. Let me know if you guys have tried that before. There, I feel like that's a little bit less bright. I need a lighting specialist in here and a camera specialist. I'm gonna start off with Painterly for my eye base. Because I'm so fair, usually if I don't have a self-tan, Painterly is the one I go for. And then if I have a self-tan, then I'll do the soft ochre. You know what? Maybe I should do my lips first because I feel really bare without my lips. I'm going to go ahead and use the lipstick on its own. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the packaging on this. And it has a magnetic closure for you. And the color is called Natasha. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on with it. Oh, that's pretty. Yum. It's a mild, sweet smell. I'm not sure what it is, but it smells delicious. Nothing overpowering. Really, really pretty. Maybe I should use a bit of Iconic Nude. Now I feel like I have a face so I can go ahead and do my eyeshadow. If you look at her palettes and separate it, these colors will work together, these four. These will work together. This will work together. This will work together. So it takes the guesswork out of creating a look for you. I'm just gonna use my intuition on this one. I will show you what I'm gonna use though, so. Look at how nice that contour is. It is so subtle, and it has different colors, of course, so. I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is Nurture, and place that in the crease. The brush that I'm using right now is by Refer, and it's number 15. I'm gonna go ahead to the other eye. I've been lucking out with lip colors lately. I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, because I used to work there, but <laughs> as I'm using them, I'm like, oh, that smells awful. So I've gotta just throw some out and replace them. It's nice to get some really pretty colors like this one. I'm gonna go right beside it and use Familia and change my brush though. This one is a BK Beauty A502. And I'm keeping this a bit more concentrated into the crease. I'm also gonna pull it down on that outer edge, that outer corner. Shelb, no. She's trying to steal my, t no, no, no. And you can see that I'm dragging it from the darkest to the lightest. So I'm not re-dipping my brush. It automatically, as I drag into the center, is giving me a soft blend. So yeah, I had my hysterectomy on Thursday and I was supposed to stay overnight, and I didn't. I felt comfortable enough to come home. And they don't have you in your own room anyways if you're staying overnight. They only have you in the recovery room. I went a little high with this, but that's okay, I'll blend it out. And so I could hear everybody. I could hear all the nurses with other patients. One man was snoring, and um, I felt well enough that I didn't need care at that point. I'd already gone to the bathroom a few times. I had gotten up by myself. I'm just taking that other brush and blending this out. So I called my husband at 8.30 at night and had him come get me, and I had a better sleep at home for sure. And you know, honestly, my recovery has been pretty good. I thought it was gonna be worse. Definitely the gas pains, um, you know, because they blow your stomach up. I still have pressure. I still have definitely swelling. So I haven't really had to rely on the pain medication. I was supposed to take a Dilaudid every four hours, and I stretched out. I would have one in the morning and one at night, um, along with my Tylenol and my Advil, and it seemed pretty good. And honestly, I don't know... I could have gotten away without the hydromorphone, but it was uncomfortable and the nurse was saying, you know, we don't want you uncomfortable. So I just listened to her and took my medication. And uh, yeah, I'm on day, so this would be day Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So yeah, this is day four. <laughs> what is wrong with me? And um, I feel pretty good. My daughter and I went for a little tiny stroll around the house just to get the dogs out. And I had her come with me because if the dogs pull on me, that's not gonna be any good. Um, and sometimes if I'm up too much, I, I feel like I could, you know, I feel nauseous and weak. 
and so I wanted her there in case, you know, something went wrong, but nothing went wrong and I felt pretty good. I'm gonna come down to Carp Diem right here and switch over my brushes again. And I'm gonna, oh, that's a pretty color. That just enhanced that so easy. Hmm, now I wanna change my idea a little bit. That was powerful in a great way, not in a bad way. That's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again and I'm gonna go over the edge to blend that out. I'm gonna use babies with my finger and place that right here. I always find using a finger just gives me way more control over any kind of shimmer products. It allows me to, you know, get the most impact with my product and I can be very detailed with it. If you have really long nails, it's gonna be very hard for you to do. So if you can't use your fingers, use a, um, a stiffer brush, like a flat stiff brush. This one would work as well, just laying it flat on, the, on its side there. I'm gonna take a little bit of Unity and I'm gonna pull this up right here. My camera turned off again. I, I don't know how to figure that out when that's gonna do that. Brows are done. Let me curl my lashes and get some mascara on. Has anyone heard of Lashify? I would really like to try them. I don't know how many of you watching would actually play around with false lashes, but these are like a lash extension that you do yourself, but they're very expensive. So let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing. And if enough people say yes, then I will go ahead and buy them and do a little video for you. I have changed my mind. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this color underneath the lash line, and this one is called Aspiration. Just a slight bit, right close. And it's really gonna act more as a lash thickener when it's that close to my lash line. Honestly, if I didn't put bottom mascara on, you wouldn't notice that much. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And I was able to do that because I have a really thin, small brush. This one's a Refer 23, but you can use a small angled brush too. Something like this would work. Um, something like that. Actually, are they the same brush? Yeah, they're the same brush. I'm gonna go in with my 1999 mascara. It's black and it's got a really thin wand. So that's what I'm gonna use today for my bottom lashes. I haven't used that in a while. The only problem I have with this mascara is it's a really small bottle, but the applicator is beautiful for those smaller lashes, and it's wonderful if you had a dark brow as well. I wish I had her blush to try. I didn't buy it because I have a blush of hers from a different palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and use that one instead because they, to me, looked a little bit similar. Ah, I got mascara on my lid. You know your lashes are long when. Can't believe I did that. Let's see if I can get this off without wrecking my, yeah, not bad. Natasha Denona has a face palette that she came out with in the summertime. And was it the summertime or the springtime? I can't remember. Anyways, it is not far off. I think the new color that she came out with is a bit more rosy, um, but I'm gonna use this one to keep it all in the family. And what I can tell you is it's creamy, but it's not really creamy, like it's not slick, it's not gonna move around. It feels more like a cream to powder formulation. So I imagine that that's what the new one is gonna feel like. And I just didn't feel like I needed it because I do have this blush from her and I have this highlighter also from her. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those two. By the way, I love this palette. I have used it in videos before and um, it's, it's definitely beautiful. You can use a sponge too. I don't know where all these little flecks are coming from. I think they're from my towel actually. I'm gonna use a brush for my highlight as well and go into there because I do wanna put some right underneath my brow bone as well. So right there. I have to be very careful because I have all my lovely smile lines there so I don't want it to go 
right into those lines. Honestly, my smile lines don't bother me that much, but I don't wanna enhance it too much. This is a BK Beauty A506, by the way. I'm gonna, it's a concealer brush, but I'm gonna take the tip of it like this and apply it right underneath the brow bone as well. And I'm going to take that same highlighter and put it in the corner. I'm gonna do a light dusting right in here with my Laura Mercier Blur Powder. Really loving this one. I just feel like there's no dryness to my skin when I use this. I have a few favorites, but I think I've said in the last video that this is my new favorite. So just right in here and right in here. Let me just touch up a little bit more right in there. I love having my concealer as my final touch, that and lips. And once I touch it up really well, then I can set it with powder that one last time and it should be good for the day. Let me see what my hair looks like when I take this down. Whoa. <laughs> well, forgive the hair. I am gonna keep playing with this palette. The only thing I'm noticing is it doesn't have a base shadow. So let me just open this up again for you. Like this is a light color right here, but it has shimmer. So that's the only thing I'm finding is it doesn't have that base nude um, to be able to highlight under the brow if you don't want to shimmer. Yeah, other than that, I think it's got pretty much everything that you need. It's got your black. Ooh, let me just play with this for a second. I think her blackest black shadow, I can't, again, a tongue twister. I think that was one of her first shadows that she came out with. So I have it on my little brush and I'm going to use it as my liner. And this always has had really good reviews, so I'm really happy that it's in this palette. Don't forget that you can wet it as well if you're worried about having it fall down. I don't like doing liner after mascara. It's such a pain, but it's working. I almost forgot to use the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. So we've got the Enhancer and the Perfector. Let me see, I'm going to go ahead and use the bronze for right here. It's so beginner friendly. And then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm gonna swirl it all in and just go all over. Don't have to do that though. Okay, now I'm all done. I love this look, I love this palette. Keep an eye out for my videos. I'm gonna play around with this palette a few more times and do some more dramatic looks, uh, maybe something even more natural. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.